For the past several months, we've been asking our viewers to tell us what they are doing to make the world a greener place as part of our Eye on the Environment contest. We've selected three finalists and we'll introduce you to a new one each week all month long. Our first contestant is Warwick Valley Central School District and their energy performance contract. Warwick is introducing a new way to create electricity, the largest wind turbine at a public school in New York State. Warwick Valley Central School District is currently powered by traditional forms of electricity. But this summer, the school is taking action by initiating a more economical, educational, and environmentally friendly way to power their district. The whole notion of energy is, is pretty much an abstraction. And you turn on the lights and they work, and you go someplace in the car and it works. And, and what, what the project does and what the turbine does is to really sp put a spotlight on what it takes to make the energy that, that does power your light bulbs. And I think it will, it will help to change the way that people look at energy. Superintendent Tim Holmes and his environmental team are installing a 100 kilowatt wind turbine right in their backyard at Sanfordville Elementary School. He feels wind power is an integral part of renewable energy's future and their turbine will create more electricity with less impact on the environment. By capturing the wind that blows across the schoolyard, Warwick's turbine will provide one third of the energy they need and save more than $15,000 each year in costs. You know, we have to, as a district, find ways of, of reducing our costs. And this is, this is one area that we can really look at because energy is, is big for districts. Um, our, the amount of energy that we use uh, is substantial, so we're able to reduce that amount and, and overall reduce costs to the district and the taxpayers. Environmental teacher Edward Sadler is committed to educating his students about the countless benefits that come from wind power. From saving money on electricity to lowering their carbon footprint, the project is also providing an important educational opportunity for kids. This is something that's going to be in, in every American's life uh, from here on in. This is how we are in part going to make electricity and 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 we really are, are, are showing the community and, and even the region that, that this is this is what it is. And next month we're going to open up our contest to you at home and let you pick the winner of our $5,000 grand prize. Voting begins on May 5th and all you have to do is log on to our website at rnntv.com to cast your vote. The winner will be announced on May 12th, so make sure you vote for your favorite finalist.